So just a quick video for those of you who've been looking at how you might be able to determine the um, equation for the length of a hyperbola's latest rectum. Um, some of you have had a look at this and know that it's, uh, we mentioned it's important. If you're maybe wanting to think about how you're going to fit a hyperbola to a real life um, curve, a real life situation that you've got, real world thing that you may have to do in the internal. And this is one of the ways that you can start to get to excellence is to look at the length of the latest rectum and use that to fit a hyperbola. We've seen in the lesson uh, before when we were looking at fitting hyperbolas to uh, curves, it, it can be quite a tricky, messy kind of thing to do um, if you're not going to make use of the latest rectum's length. And a good idea if you're going to make use of the latest rectum's length is to actually derive that, show how you got the formula for the latest rectum um, in the work that you're doing in the internal. So let's have a look at how we can derive that and see how well you've got on with this. So what I've got on my diagram here, um, I have Oops, let me in the highlighter. That's an interesting one. I've done that one before. Laser pointer. Um, so we've got our latest rectum here in blue. Remember, the latest rectum for any conic is a line that passes through a focus and then ends when it hits the conic itself. So here we've got latest rectum of the hyperbola. Okay, to get its length, we're going to have to figure out the coordinates of the point here and the point here. Now, the first thing to note is that these two points are completely symmetric about the x-axis, aren't they? Okay, so wherever this is, if, so if we determine this, we know where this is. Okay, completely symmetric about the x-axis because the hyperbola is. So really, in a sense, all I need to do is to work out where this point is, and then I can determine that length. Okay, so let's add a few bits onto my diagram. I'm going to call that point A. And I'm going to say it has coordinates. Now, it's coordinates. Let's think about this for a minute. I think we already know one of its coordinates. We know it's in a line with this point that goes through C, where C is the focused position on the x-axis. So its x-coordinate is just C. But we don't know what its y-coordinate is. Okay. Now, actually, if that's going to take a certain value, this thing down here, we'll get another point B. OK, that will still have X coordinate C because it's still on that line. X equals C. All the points on that line are X equals C. And that would have a different Y coordinate. OK, I'll call it Y dash for now because just when I say it, it's a different value. I know it's symmetric, though. I mean, if I think about it, I know that Y dashed will just be equal to the negative of what the Y value is at A. OK. Right, so I can now start to work with my equation of my hyperbola and what I know starting out. I know the x coordinate is a. So let's put that at my point a, let's say. a is such that c squared over a squared minus y squared is b squared over b squared equals 1. OK, we know that. Let's multiply through by a squared b squared. Why am I going to do that? Because it's going to clear the fractions for me, isn't it? So if I multiply through by a squared b squared, that will clear the fractions for me. So I will get, in this first bit, the a squareds will cancel, leaving, with me, leaving me with a b squared c squared, because the a squared on the bottom, and then the a squared multiplying through. And then on the second bit, y squared over b squared times a squared b squared, the b squareds will cancel, and I'll get an a squared y squared. Okay, that equals 1 times by a squared b squared. I'm nearly going wrong again, aren't I? a squared b squared. Okay, need to remember to do the same to both sides, didn't we? So we multiply by a squared b squared. All right, we're trying to get what y is. So let's go for a bit of a rearrangement. I've got a minus a squared. Let's bring my pointer up. I've got a minus a squared y squared here. Let's make that positive by taking it to that side. And let's take the a squared b squared across to this side. OK, so that's going to go there. This is going to come here. So let's do that. Um, so we go back to our pen. The a squared b squared and the a squared y squared are just going to swap sides. So I've got b squared, c squared, 
minus a squared b squared is a squared y squared. All we've done is swap the a squared y squared with the a squared b squared there. Why? Because we're trying to get y on its own. What have we got in here? Well, on this side, we've got b's as a factor, haven't we? Yeah, b's as a factor, b squared, lots of c squared minus a squared. I wonder if you're getting ahead of me now. Equals a squared y squared. Now, for a hyperbola, I also have the connection between a, b, and c, b squared is c squared minus a squared. Does that look familiar? Well, yes, it should, because that's what we've got down here in this bracket, c squared minus a squared. So b squared multiplied by b squared then, b to the power 4 is a squared y squared. And if I square root all of that, I'm going to get b squared here and square root the other side a y. OK, I would get plus or minus, wouldn't I, coming in there? But I know that y is going to be positive because I'm taking y, remember, to be this point up here. Yeah, so the y coordinate there is positive. So I might as well just say, well, I'm just taking the positive part of it because that's all I'm interested in here. I'm going to say that b is the negative part of it. And that's where that comes in. So if we flip back to with our pen, we've got this bit out here. So y is b squared over a. Yeah. So what can we say further to that? Well, we can now say that this coordinate y dashed is the negative of that. y dashed is the negative of b squared over a. But let's just think about this for a minute as well. What we're trying to work out is the length of our latest rectum. The length of our latest rectum is the distance from here all the way down to here. Or that distance just down to the focus doubled. Yeah, because of the symmetry. I can just double that distance and that will give me the length of the latest rectum. Well, I know what that distance is because that distance, before I change back out, that distance is just a y coordinate. I'm dropping down from y equals this b squared over a down to y equals zero. The x axis is y equals zero. That distance perpendicular to the x-axis is just a difference in the y-coordinates. And the difference in the y-coordinates is this b squared over a. So I can therefore say, I've been back to my pen, that the latest rectum is going to be twice that y-value. So the latest rectum of a hyperbola is this thing that we used in the last lesson, 2b squared over a. Okay, And that's how you'd go about deriving that expression and then using it in an excellence part of the question to fit a hyperbola to a real-life curve.